So we are at spring training with the Baltimore Orioles. And I have not been here since I played for them, way back in 2012. So taking Maddie to check out a little spring training action. First spring training practice of the year for the Orioles. And I've got myself mic'd up. Going to show you guys around in case you haven't been to a spring training complex before. Beautiful down here in Sarasota. Came down to visit my wife's family. And I was with the Orioles for a couple of months. I was in big league camp with them back in 2012. So pretty cool to be back for the first time since then. We're going to take you through an entire practice. So this is, like I said, first practice of the year. You can see that's the where the games are played right over there. And then these are the practice fields. So we've got one here. There's four total fields, and there's a small diamond. There's a clubhouse in there, weight room. And so we're going to go through a day and show you what practice is like, especially first day of spring training. So team's out right now, 1030, and we are getting ready to start practice. So a quick little meeting. We'll probably stretch after this. So now they're stretching. The little shuffles. Now we're going to go knee pulls. So typically every day, you know, it's, it's set up pretty much the same exact way as when I was playing before. So we would actually do the same thing on this same field. New coaches, new everything since I played. But this is uh, exactly how we did it. It's a little tough to figure out who's who out there, but I found Jackson Holiday, so I'm just going to follow him around pretty much all day since he is an up-and-coming star and already one of my favorite players. I don't cheer for teams, I just cheer for players. Orioles have a ton of good ones. All right, so now after stretch, players have broken off by position. So now we have the infielders over here playing catch. So again, I'm stalking Holiday. Um, so he's playing catch here. We've got outfielders on one field, infielders on one field, pitchers on one field, catchers on one field. So we've divided up by position. You can see Jackson's the third, or I guess actually fourth. He just threw the ball right there. He's looking a lot bigger. That's one thing actually with all of these players. You don't realize how big they are. Um, they're big. And, and Jackson, I knew he was a big kid, but he looks like he's gotten even bigger and stronger. This is my first time seeing him in person. If you look down here now, everyone's already thrown. Now the catchers are down here working on bunts. Uh, I turned down the, uh, I just have my mic right now. I turned down the volume. There's a lot of music playing, so turn that down. See the outfielders are over here. They're split up in center field and right field. They're getting ground balls right now, and they're just working on fielding ground balls, and they're coming up throwing two bases. Okay, now we've finished throwing, and now uh, outfielders are barehanded, and they are just working on running to their left here, making catches. A lot of this stuff, it's funny. A lot of this stuff, it's exactly what we do at Antonelli Baseball, probably because I took a lot of it from when I was playing. Okay, now outfielders are going straight back and the ball is thrown either to their glove side or they have to slightly open up their hips to catch a ball that maybe, you know, tails on them. Maybe they don't get a great read on it. And they have to make a little adjustment on the ball. Uh, everything has been done bare hand so far when it comes to uh, outfield work. Now we have catchers off in the distance. They have a hack attack machine and they are working on pop-ups. So we've been watching this for a little bit. So far, uh, one ball has been dropped. Other than that, it's been pretty good. One guy, I can't tell who it is. One guy struggling a little bit. Caught a couple balls like Willie Mays Hayes. Um, but for the most part, they're doing a pretty good job. But this is a good way to, con in a controlled environment, be able to shoot the ball pretty high. It's hard to hit a fungo to a catcher, so hack attack's always a good way to do it. All right, now this is the boring part. I told Maddie, I said, this is uh, what you have to look forward to if you're ever a big league pitcher or if you decide to be a pitcher, especially a pitcher only. 
he said, oh, I'll just be Shohei. I said, okay, that's, that's a good idea. You can just be Shohei and go hit, let everyone else go do their PFPs. But this is just PFPs. I mean, how boring is this? Like, you know, ball hit to them like three miles an hour. They field it. They throw it to first. That's why I could never be a pitcher. And then on the other field down here, you've got pitchers working on getting over. So we got a ground ball to the first baseman, but the first baseman are actually pitchers. So they're working on fielding it. And then they're, the pitcher on the mound is taking off towards first. They're getting the ball, touching the base. So the boring life of a pitcher, just PFP practice. All right, now... Infielders actually went and did ground balls on the far field, so we couldn't really see what was going on there. This is uh, Adley Rushman up right now. So I missed his first round. Or I, I watched it, but I missed filming it. He hit mostly all left-handed. He had one round right-handed, but everything else was left-handed. And his power actually right-handed. He was smashing balls. Left-handed, not as good power. Left-handed. And now here comes my boy. Got Jackson Holiday. We got Gunnar Henderson hitting in the same group. So, again, you, you probably can't tell on the camera right now, uh, but I'm telling you, in person, like going and we, we just went up and we're able to stand like only a few feet away from these guys and way bigger. Every major leaguer is way bigger than you anticipate till you stand next to him. But I didn't know Holiday was this big. He's pretty jacked. All right, so now Jackson's getting ready to hit. I just wanted to just film him here for a second. Just what his routine is. Now, uh, I think Gunnar Henderson's up right now. So every round starts off with a bunt. Uh, the, the BP pitcher throwing the first round through a lot more strikes. This round has been more balls so far, which in some ways is good. You make guys work on you know, what pitches they swing at and which ones they don't. We've talked about that before. Um, but so far, there haven't been as many homers as there was in the first round. This is Gunner's first round. Here, you see him follow the ball off there. Takes the ball in. So there's definitely been more takes this round. There's a little, like, uh, swing stop by, by Holiday. But you can see him getting his timing down. It's one thing you'll notice when you're watching the big leaguers hit. Like they're not just goofing around. He's timing everything up there. He's going through his routine. He's working on his swing stops. And this is his first round hitting right here. So starts off with a bunt. And this is as close as we could get. This is, uh, we're basically front row. Another take. We're front row right now. Um, there's a rocket line shot in the left field. It'll help narrate since it might be a little tough to see. I can't tell how well you guys can see. There's a high fly ball to the left. And uh, it's tough to see what that, that was either a homer or a hit off the fence. Is a deep fly ball to the center. That's way back. And it looks like that one went over. And it's, it's sunny out right now, too, so it's a little hard to see. That ball might have bounced. I think that might have been a homer. He's hitting really high fly balls. So now got it. Oh, that ball's way out. Holy, you can hear that hit though. Oh, that shot. Did you hear that? Bang! So I turned my mic off there for a second. Just so you could hear Maddie. Gunner just hit one, literally went went way over the fence and smashed into, they have a cage out in right field, hit off the very top back of it. The ball was destroyed. And Holiday right now, most of his balls so far have been to the middle of the field or to left center field. So he really hasn't pulled a whole lot of balls. He takes another one. Uh, the first group that hit, there's another one to left center. But he's got juice. I mean, he's just... I don't want to say he's mishitting these balls, but he's just getting under them a little bit, but they're still going very far to the opposite field. He didn't seem too super thrilled with that. Henderson has crazy pull power. I mean, he's smashing balls. These home runs that are going to right, they are, like that one right there, that ball is hit a mile. 
he is smashing balls up over the fence and onto that building in right field. He's got crazy. I mean, it's 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 crazy power. There's another ball. It's smashed. And sorry again. I had to turn the the volume down because the the music is is really loud. Here's Holiday again. Again, he's staying middle of the field. Almost no, there's a line shot into the gap to left center. Almost nothing pulled. Another ball left center. And he's lofting some of these balls for homers to left center, homers to center. He didn't get pitched a ton in, but he also seems to take the in ball. There's a line shot to left field. He takes the in ball and will still hit it to left field. So this is the last round right here. There's a super high fly ball to center field. He hits him a mile. He's probably hitting him higher than any player out here. Another rock at the center. Stuck to him through thick and thin. Oh, that's awesome. I think first year we had Troy Aitman, we went one in 15. So. Yeah, they do good every year in the regular <laughs> season and then <laughs> blow it in the playoffs. I know, you're right, exactly. It's frustrating as hell. <laughs> My brother-in-law, he's 